Hey, so uh, I'm creating this video to try to clear up some of the confusion over uh, how much coffee this Chemex makes. Now, this is the hand-blown version of the Chemex pour-over eight cup of coffee, um, coffee maker. So, first off, um, there's confusion around when they say eight cups. Uh, some people think, oh, that's 64 ounces of coffee. No. Um, uh, a cup of coffee is typically five ounces, and that's what Chemex says as well. So they use that as their standard for a cup of coffee. So that would be eight times five should be 40 ounces of coffee. Now, let's see here. Um, on the side, in the lower half, about halfway up, you'll see a bump on this particular Chemex. I don't know if the smaller one has this, but the larger one has two cups, two bumps. This bump tells you, um, gives you kind of an idea of how much coffee to brew. Now I've read that in several, uh, you know, articles from coffee experts, as well as some really handy videos. And um, they use that so you know to stop brewing. Um, now, if you use that bump uh, as a measuring guide, uh, let's see how much coffee, how much water this holds. So right now, this pitcher that I'm holding here has 28 ounces, and you probably know where this is going. I'm gonna pour this in. Take a look down here. It's right there at the dot in the middle of the dot. That is 28 ounces of water. Now, um, that's not 40 ounces. So uh, I'm using that as my standard and that makes, let's see, 28, uh, five ounces each. Five times five is 25, right? So that's five cups and a little more. So maybe five and a half cups or so of so that's, let's just say five cups of five ounce cups of coffee. Five ounce, <laughs> five cups of coffee at five ounces each, not eight. Um, so basically uh, that's what I'm using because I can't drink any more coffee than that anyway, but I found it odd that they would put that marker there and then call this uh, eight cup um, of coffee maker. Now, the way I make the coffee is uh, after I grind the beans and I put it into the filter on the top, put a little dent in uh, into the coffee with my finger. I pour a little bit of water in there to get it to bloom. Uh, then I slowly pour the water over the top to fill it up to the rim. Now, if I do that um, and I let it get down to the point where there's coffee stuck to the sides, then I pour again and fill it all the way up to the top. Essentially, it's about two times where I'm filling and pouring this up to the top that gets me to this bump here. And you kind of have to play around with it to get it the way you, the way you like it. Um, basically the trick is not letting the coffee stick to the sides and it all drain down to the bottom um, before you pour in your second funnel's worth. Now, that's what I do. And it comes out pretty good that way. And that's what I've seen um, on other uh, websites and on YouTube uh, by coffee experts. Now, this is also good to know. So this is the hand-blown version. It's going to be different from the other version, but this is 777 grams of water. And I'm sure you can use an online calculator to calculate ounces to grams, but that's uh, roughly about right. And that'll help you determine how much ground coffee to use. So they say it's one gram of ground coffee to 16 grams of water. So you need to do that division, 777 into 16, to come up with how much ground coffee to use, um, you know, um, for brewing your Chemex pot of coffee. So I'm, I'm not exactly sure they, how they come up with eight ounces, uh, I'm sorry, eight cups of coffee. Uh, I'm sure you could. There's lots of room on the top here for more additional, more liquid. Um, but if you did that, that would require a, a lot more coffee grounds. And if you did that, you're going to be pouring in here at least three times full to the top, I believe. And that's a guess. I haven't tried it to get eight cups of coffee. Uh, I don't know. I guess if you're making a lot of coffee for a bunch of people, then that's great. Uh, I don't think it would be ideal. But I just wanted to give you just some real life experience with it. Um, it's basically for me, it gives me, you know, five cups of coffee at five ounces each. 
So I hope this video was helpful.